I remember when I was playing football for my local team. I was 11 and we had a great season. In fact, we hadn't lost all year. I played every game and we were preparing for the cup final. As we sat in the changing room before the game and the coach started to announce the team, with each name read out, realization beginning to set in, it finally hit me. I wasn't playing, I was benched. Unfortunately, we lost the game and it's funny that even years later, I can still feel the scratch of pain as I think about it. You know, the bench can feel like a lonely place, a place of rejection, a place reserved for the ones who aren't good enough to make it to the pitch. But as I've gotten older and hopefully a little more mature in my faith, I've realized that that's not how God sees it. In so many ways, the kingdom of God is the kingdom of the upside down. The bench in the kingdom is not a place of rejection at all, but it's in fact one of care. As we play out this life, we get knocks, we get bumps, we get injured. Some knocks can be patched up and played through, but when we experience brokenness, we need the bench. You wouldn't play on with a broken leg, yet so often we play through our spiritual brokenness and fatigue regardless of the warning signs. You know, we've spoken before about the warning lights on the dashboards of our lives, ignored at our own risk. And in the same way, we need to heed the indicators here too. The bench is a place of rest and recuperation. It gives space and opportunity to catch our breath. It gives you a chance to survey the field from a new perspective, removed from the frantic play-by-play, -play, the, the tactical awareness, and it allows you to see things in a new light. The bench is where you can take on water refreshing you again. It's a place of reflection. It's a place of preparation. Maybe you're in a season right now where you've been playing the game for a long time and you feel weary. Don't despise the bench. Embrace the opportunity to come back over to the coaches and take a rest. Read again, Matthew 11:28. 28. Come over to the bench and stop running. Just rest. It doesn't mean that you failed. It doesn't mean that you haven't played well. The bench is not a punishment. It's just a pause. But also let me encourage you. The bench is also not a place of permanence. We rest, refresh, refuel, and then we get back in the game. Our role or position may shift and change, but your value in the team is secure, whether you're on the field or on the sidelines. I pray today that we learn to trust the coach, God, and we embrace the bench so we can last the course. You know, this life is more than just a sprint or a one-off game. It's a season. It's a race of endurance and patience. Bless you.